Hi guys, in what would be a bit of a boost for the Tories and an embarrassment for Nigel Farage and Reform UK, one of the candidates for the latter has defected to the Conservative Party. Now this defection is different to others where he will not be the candidate for the Tory party, they already have one, but he will throw his support behind the Conservatives. He bizarrely claimed that the reason for his defection was due to sexism and racism in Reform UK. Have a listen to this report. Welcome back. We have some breaking news to bring you and a Reform UK candidate has defected to the Conservatives just four days ahead of the election, citing reports of the widespread racism and sexism in the party. Let's get the details from our political correspondent Rob Powell. Rob, what more can you tell us? Yeah, this is the um, reform candidate, or was the reform candidate for Erewash um, in the East Midlands towards Nottingham, uh, Liam Booth Isherwood. He had been due to stand for reform and will still appear on the ballot paper because that deadline has elapsed. But he has announced today uh, that he will be leaving the reform party and suspending his campaign in Erewash with immediate effect and recommending that people back the Conservative candidate, Maggie Throop, in that constituency, the incumbent in that constituency, um, in Instead, he says that over the past few weeks he's become increasingly disillusioned with the behaviour and the conduct of reform uh, and says while he's campaigned alongside many decent hard-working people in this general election the reports of widespread racism and sexism in reform have made clear that there is a significant moral issue within certain elements of the party. He also says that the party leadership, the reform party leadership have failed to take this matter um, seriously or fundamentally address it and as such this is not a party that he wants to be associated with um, anymore. Now uh, Liam Booth, Booth Isherwood was um, a Conservative before on his website he says that he'd been a Conservative member for the best part of the decade but essentially defected to reform because he became disillusioned with the state of the Tory party. What we have now is him essentially flipping back over some of the stories we've had recently um, about mainly social media and online posts made by certain reform um, candidates. Of course reform and Nigel Farage have acted to suspend some of those candidates. They've also, though, said that they believe that there has been uh, something of a setup and a conspiracy um, against them um, as well. Um, so uh, bad news, more bad news, really, for reform. Um, one of their candidates in a constituency where they would expect to be getting um, a decent chunk of the votes moving to the Conservatives, and I think for the Conservatives in that constituency, that may um, help them there. So uh, some good news for the Conservatives um, uh, and not such a great development for reform. I have to ask a question, why did he defect to reform in the first place? Because according to this report, he wasn't happy with the Conservatives. And now he's flipped back to the Conservatives. Why did he do that? Like, what was it about reform that attracted him in the first place? And what is it about the Conservatives that, have, that has attracted him away from reform? According to the reports, it says that he's not happy with the racism and sexism in Reform UK. Like, <laughs> sorry, but where the hell have you been living for the last four years? What do you think Nigel Farage is all about? What were you expecting when you defected to Reform UK? And why did it take you so long to wake up and realize, actually, this is not a very <laughs> nice organization. So I'm skeptical about his reasons for defecting. Now, will this actually help the conservatives? Well, to a certain extent, yes. If we look at the, uh, the vote share in 2019, when the conservative won the seat, she won it with a majority just of over 10,600. Now, 10,600 majority in 2019 is not safe going forward into the next election. And it helps her somewhat because Reform UK, uh, well, the candidate is throwing his support behind her, so he's going to try and convince people who are likely to vote for him uh, to, to vote for the Conservative. But I don't know how much he's going to be able to convince people because many people who are voting, many voters who are backing Reform UK are doing so because they're not happy with the Conservatives. So I don't think Liam is going to be able to convince a lot of people to vote for the Conservatives just because he defected. It's, an, it's more an embarrassment for Nigel Farage. And it may convince other candidates to switch. Now, I don't know if he was convinced by the Conservatives some way 
it, whether it's out, something outside politics, whether money was exchanged, I don't know. But it's it, it's very strange that somebody who defected to reform defected back to the Conservatives just a few days before the general election. As I said, this majority she has isn't really a safe majority. It's likely that the seat will go to Labour and any you know, split that reform were going to have would have been minimal. But him defecting is not going to really help uh, the Conservatives, I don't think. Because, as I said before, people who are already decided to vote reform would vote reform anyway, irrespective of this defection. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.